Master Kingston, shall I go to a dungeon? No, madam. We have prepared the apartment you stayed in prior to your coronation. Greetings, loyal subjects. On this day in history, at dawn, they came for Sir Henry Norris. They arrested him and took him to the tower. Mark Smeaton, a musician from court, was already there. He'd been arrested and questioned by my Chief Minister Thomas Cromwell the day before. Smeaton had confessed to adultery with the Queen. At some point that morning, George Boleyn, the brother of Anne, was also arrested and taken to the tower. And then, a messenger was sent to the Queen, who was watching a tennis match at the time. She was instructed to go and present herself to the King's Commission. She did as she was told, and left the game and attended this meeting. It was chaired by her own uncle, the Duke of Norfolk, and he very flatly and matter-of-factly told her that she was being accused of adultery. She was taken back to her own apartments and given dinner. Nobody in the Tudor court could ever miss dinner, no matter what the accusations were floating around. They waited for the tide to turn at around 2 p.m. in the afternoon. She was taken by barge to the tower. There, the constable greeted her. She immediately said, Master Kingston, shall I be taken to a dungeon? And he assured her that no, the royal apartments which she stayed at prior to her own coronation were available and that is where she would be housed. She then began asking him lots of questions. What had become of her father? Where was her brother? Kingston wisely refused to answer anything. It could well have been that George Boleyn was stood at a small window watching down on them from his own confinement. Finally, she asked one final question. Shall I die without receiving justice? Kingston thought for a moment and said, Madam, even the poorest subject receives the king's justice. She considered this for a moment and then simply burst out laughing. <laughs> <laughs>